Now, a teenager is dead after a shooting in Newport News. Now, people in the community are asking for the violence to stop. The shooting happened just before 4.30 this afternoon at the intersection of 32nd Street and Marshall Avenue. Tending your side's Kara Dixon spoke with neighbors and witnesses who heard the gunfire. Yeah, Tom, you know, too close for comfort. That's what those neighbors are saying about hearing those gunshots fired only a few houses down. They say this is just another reason why their community needs to work together in order to give kids a chance to grow up. It's scary. It's a scary feeling when you're sitting in your house and all of a sudden you hear a gunshot so close home. It was those four gunshots that sent Lola Dixon outside to make sure no one was hurt. She saw a young woman walking by. I said, sweetie, is everything okay? She said, no. We were just standing here talking and someone just came by and just shot him. They shot him four times. When Newport News police responded here to 32nd and Marshall around 4.20 p.m., they found a male with multiple gunshot wounds who was quickly pronounced dead at the scene. He was only a teen. It's sad because a 17-year-old, you're still a kid. Um, you know, you still got your whole life ahead of you. And uh, for somebody to take a life like that, it, it's sad. He says it's the second homicide of the year. Police are trying to do their part to cut down on crime by engaging with residents. It is a two-way street. You know, you know, we're out there doing what we can do. We do need help from the community to come forward and assist us with some of the violent crime that's going on. The Dixons say they're also hoping for change for younger generations. What they see on TV about the gangs, they're disasters. After the show, they go back home. But kids look at this and think this is a uh, quick way to get rich. Fast life, fast death. They hope others see what happened today as a reason why the community should work together so another parent doesn't have to bury their child. And to that come together, as we come together as one, this is what we're going to have. And police say they have no suspect information, but need someone to come forward with anything they might know. You can call police directly, call the crime line anonymously, or you can submit a tip online. We'll have that over on wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.